today I'm gonna make this crazy crust pizza, uh, gluten free. I got this off a web, uh, another YouTuber's site, and I I kind of changed it a little and decided to make it gluten free for my husband. This is the best pizza, gluten free pizza you're ever gonna have. So what you're gonna do? Some gluten free flour, whatever you have. Take one cup of this flour. This is so easy because you don't have to have yeast, you don't have to knead it, nothing. It's literally the simplest pizza ever. And it wants you to put in a teaspoon of salt. That's probably enough. I put about a half teaspoon in. Uh, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, whatever type of Italian seasoning you have. That kind of gives the crust a yummy flavor. And then depending if you want it a little spicy or not, you can put in some crushed red pepper. I usually just do a little, just some flex, just to give it flavor. And then add two eggs. Now you can stir this by hand. I'm using my KitchenAid. Uh, just to make it easy and get it mixed nice. And then finally, two thirds cup of milk. This is a one third measuring. So I'm gonna put two of these in. And that, <laughs> that is the crust. It is literally that easy. Now my, this squeaks, so just mix it up. And then once it's all incorporated, you're gonna put it into a greased cast iron skillet. I've also made them on like a regular cookie sheet, uh, and that works too. But if you have a cast iron skillet, that's the best. Okay, so here's the batter we made already. This is a cast iron skillet I like to use. I got it at Aldi quite a few years ago. Anyway, um, my favorite it works real well for this uh, just spray it generously because you don't want it to stick and I think the gluten-free one you can do this the same recipe with regular flour too but the gluten-free one seems to stick more I don't know why it just does now don't be worried I know this is runny it seems very strange which is why it's called crazy crazy pizza anyway so that's what it's gonna look like. Then you're gonna only put your meat on. You're gonna wait with these and wait with your cheese. And first you're gonna do it like this, then you're gonna put whatever meat, or if you don't want meat, then just cook it like that. I'm gonna use pepperonis for this, because that's what I have. So put however much pepperoni, sausage, name bacon, whatever the heck you want on your pizza. And I set my oven for 425 and you're gonna put it on the bottom rack. Oh, don't look at my oven, it's very dirty. That's a job for tonight. And you're gonna set it for 20 minutes. All right, I'll see you in 20 minutes. So I took it out. It's been in the oven for 20 minutes. You can see it looks like crust now. So now it's kind of backwards. I'm gonna put the sauce on. Use whatever, you know, gluten-free sauce you like or your own if you wanna make your own. So, are you begging Kirby? So there's the sauce. Then I'm gonna, I made a mix of mozzarella, Kobe Jack cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle that all over. Get it good and cheesy. And I, I grated this myself. Uh, block cheese, sometimes uh, cheeses that are uh, 
come already shredded have gluten in them. But, so I had just did that and my husband loves green olives. But whatever toppings you want to put on is what you'd put on right now. I'm gonna go like that. Looks good. Now we're gonna put it on the top rack of your oven for another 10 minutes just to kind of get it all ooey and gooey. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna put, woo, look at that. I'm gonna put that on my husband's plate. You can see the crust, it's nice and crispy. I swear, this is literally the best gluten-free pizza that you can make from home. And you can see how easy it is. Anyway, time to eat.